How's it going, Guardians? How would you feel if I told you that there was a better option than using the Solar Grenade? And that's the Fusion Grenade, with what I believe is an underutilized exotic. Let's get into it. The innate effect of Starfire Protocol gives us two Fusion Grenades. The Fusion Grenade kills are going to be able to recharge our Rift, and Empowered Weapon Damage is going to be able to recharge our Fusion Grenades. And with the new Touch of Flame aspect, our Fusion Grenades are going to be exploding twice for the price of one. And that's really nice. You can use your Empowering Rift or Well of Radiance, so that way you can throw Fusion Grenades left and right. You pair that with something like Monte Carlo, and now you're throwing Fusion Grenades and you're using the new Warlock Snap to cause Scorch damage. And every time you throw a Fusion Grenade and it double explodes, it's causing a moderate amount of Scorch damage. That's going to entail you igniting people quite a bit, and Ignition is a fair amount of damage. So this build is all about exploding your enemies as quickly as possible. There's a new perk out on the new weapons called Incandescent, and that allows you to spread Scorch between your enemies. That works out really well with a bunch of different fragments that we are using, pretty much this to help spread Scorch. That way we can reach that Ignition really quickly and cause the explosions to happen. Now that's some really good explosive damage added on top of the double exploding fusion grenades and us snapping like the flame alchemist. Now to truly utilize this build to its highest potential, you're going to use a different combination of mods, ranging from those general armor mods to elemental well mods and charged with light mods. And I'm going to put those up on the screen, but in a nutshell, you're trying to cause elemental wells from your fusion grenade kills. Fusion Grenade Kill spawn those wells, and then you're going to be using Seeking Wells to pull those wells into you. That way you don't have to leave your Well of uh, Radiance, you don't have to leave your Empowering Well too often, and these wells, when they get pulled into you, are not only going to charge you with light, they're also going to heal you because you're going to be using a uh, Well of Life, which causes healing as soon as you pick up an Elemental Well that matches your subclass. Now this all being said, you're charging yourself with light for heavy handed. Heavy handed is going to give you back 50% of your super, I mean your melee, as soon as you use your melee. And by doing this, you're going to use your Monte Carlo, so that way you can get your melee back even quicker. Again, allowing you to snap and allowing you to spread the scorch damage. All of this being said leads to, again, explosions everywhere extremely high damage potential, and still a little bit of healing to help on the survivability. And that's that, you guys. You're pretty much this trying to throw out fusion grenades as quickly as possible, snap as many times as you can, and get that DPS out as quickly as possible. This build is actually pretty good, as long as if you make sure that you always have an empowering rift, or always have a fusion grenade to reset the loop. If you have a fusion grenade, you're going to have to kill an ad to get your empowering rift back. If you have your empowering rift, you're just going to have to find a bullet sponge to shoot. That way you can regen your fusions. I see this having pretty good damage potential in bossing, and it's actually been pretty fun running around exploding people with fusion grenades because I normally stay away from them. I generally stick to the solar wells. But like I said, guys, that's that. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, you know, anything like that, Go ahead, leave me a comment, and until next time, Guardians, take care, and peace.